What are they feeding you? Miracle Grow was always the answer. But I wondered, how does a kid survive eating plant fertilizer? Am I a kid at all? When we lined up in class, from shortest to tallest, guess who always got shoved to the far end? I did. There was tall, there was taller, and there was me. <laughs> you should be proud. You're blessed to be tall. But what they never said was it's hard to love your height when your peers compare you to giants. I smiled, but apparently it wasn't enough. So they poked and prodded with long sticks of misunderstanding, chanting, it was just a joke. I think my head is too far into the stratosphere to understand your humor. But giants do what they must to outlast the villagers. So I did what they did best and laughed. But kids are too young to color inside the lines and use those lines to define what hurts and what is humor. Either way, I scribbled on the page and couldn't see the lines anyway. I feel 60 feet tall standing by a fire ant. I feel like the weather up here is stormy, thanks for asking. I feel like a juxtaposition between a dwarf and shack just for laughs. I feel that as thick as a giant's bones are, they can be broken by twigs if you word them strongly enough. I feel that you are lying when you promise you are laughing with me because you all laugh alone. I feel like a tree in the middle of a flower bed where the tulips grow backwards and I just keep climbing. I feel like a circus sideshow freak, an anomaly we can all laugh and make comments at that will never be worth the time it took to shout them. I feel tall. Recess isn't quite as fun as one might think when kids bet on made-up fights that I would win because of sheer size. But I was a girl, so I very well might lose. And suddenly, I had something to prove. Even so, please don't exploit me and then tell me you enjoy me. So congratulations, your prize-winning produce has broken all of the records, your giant has played its part. The villagers have prodded me with their pitchforks and burned me with their torches for long enough. So I have locked myself away in a tower, like the princesses in the fairy tales. But I have scribbled on the pages. I have misunderstood the story. I am the fire-breathing dragon with the princess gown, waiting for Prince Charming. But giants don't get a Prince Charming. They get driven away. Giants don't get the reverential words of the villagers. They get transmuted into taboo. So thank you all for reminding me that giants don't get happy endings. Princesses do. <laughs>